Now that you've had a chance to practice and learn each of the trap and roll variations individually, we want to use this reflex development drill to put them all back together so that you can develop the instinctive reflexes that you would need in a real fight if it were to happen. So what we want to do is from the mounted position, the top person who's simulating the bad guy will create a different opportunity, a different attack opportunity each time so that the bottom person has a chance to use their technique uh, properly. So for example, I'll give heat on the first variation, he'll trap the arm, wrist, elbow, and foot. Now notice how he did it all at the same time. Come again, please. In the first, in the, in the first slice of this lesson, you learn how to do it individually, one, two, and three. But in reality, you want all these pieces to land on my arm at this, and my foot at the same time, so he don't trap it. With the arm trap in place, he slowly bridges his hips up, and he rolls, and every time, you or your partner does one of these techniques, let's trap the hips the way we learned in the fourth slice, trap the hips, control it, so that as they try to escape, they can't, and then of course you work your way through very slow, and remember, speed is a result of practice. Right now, it's all about the technique. He don't slide his other leg through, and he comes through. And now he reverse rolls. He's the bad guy. Right now, he has me in a headlock with both hooks in. So in very slow motion, I trap his arm on this side, because this is the side he's hugging my neck on. I remove the hook on the back side, and my other hand is already around his torso, ready for the bridge and roll. Straight up, reach, and roll right over. The headlock variation. From here, trap the hips. Now, if my head's facing this way, no problem. Slowly, work the knee down, slide my knee through, hug the neck. Notice when I hug the neck, how my head turns the other way. Hand goes out, and I stabilize until I have a chance to slide my other leg through and achieve the mount. Now, I create a new opportunity for my, my partner. I sit up to punch, but notice how quick he was. He sat up, he got my body very quickly, he's gonna push off the ground and pull me down, grab the shoulders, slide up, keeping his head close, wrap the arm, and break it down. Again, already we've seen these techniques. He bridges up, he reaches, and he rolls. Again, landing very low, with his head down for safety from the punches. My, his, my hips are controlled, he works his way through. Slides the knee through, hugs the neck, slow motion, and brings the knee through. Now he creates the opportunity for me. Standard variation. Notice how he's putting his forearm on my throat. The standard variation can be applied from the throat grab, from a forearm choke, from this side, from that side. It doesn't matter what he does. If he's giving me one of his arms, I can do the standard variation of the trap and roll. Wrist control, elbow control, trap a foot, bridge straight up, go right to my knees. Again, landing low and tight here. Keep my head down, and whichever side you're facing, that's the way you work through. It doesn't matter which order you do these techniques in, as long as you get through all of them and both partners practicing the technique have a chance to do all the variations. Doing the moves at this slow speed is by far the most important thing for you. Okay, because by doing it this slow, you will catch your mistakes and you'll be able to see my mistakes the same way I can see his. So go very slow, there's zero hurry. And the person who is the partner simulating the bad guy, focus on two things. Number one, behaving and positioning yourself realistically without hurting your partner. But number two, on giving your partner feedback. If I'm the bad guy and he don't traps my arm incorrectly, I must immediately tell him so that he can correct that mistake before it becomes natural and uh, he develops the wrong reflexes. That kind of makes you better too. Makes the everyone more, better. The more, a good point. The more the bad guys focus on watching for mistakes, the better they're learning the technique all the way through. So help each other. Your goal is not to work against one another, but rather with each other to perfect the techniques every step of the way. Have fun with this one and don't move on until all the variations feel extremely comfortable for you to practice.